Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on reordering items in a list box using Excel VBA. As always, if you find this video helpful, please like it and subscribe to my channel. I certainly appreciate it. I have here in this worksheet fictitious data that I'll be using for this example. In column A, I have areas of study, and in column B, the number of students associated with each area. Altogether, these are contained in a named range. So on the Formulas tab and on the ribbon and under Name Manager, we have Area Study and you can see it's a named range. So I'm going to use this named range as a row source for a list box on a user form. I have a user form already built and I have it connected to this orange rectangle here on this data worksheet. And here it is, and you can see I have this list box and that named range is used as the row source as I mentioned. I also have this move up and move down set of buttons here, one button for each. I'm going to put code in the module for the user form that will allow me to use these buttons to reorder these items. I'll close this out and move to the Visual Basic Editor. It's Alt F11. And I have some other subroutines here on this user form. I have a subroutine that adds data to the worksheet, that resets the text box controls, and dynamically populates the captions for those text boxes. So I'm going to be adding two new subroutines to start with here. I'm going to paste those in. So here I have one subroutine, move item up, and another subroutine, move item down. These subroutines are fairly similar. There are a few differences here. I'm going to go through the move item up subroutine and I'll take a look at the differences for move item down. First, I'm going to connect this subroutine to the correct button. So here on the user form, we have move up and move down. So I'm going to double click on move up. This is command button three. So this will just be call move item up. So when you click command button three, it's going to run this subroutine move item up. Back to the user form, I'll double click on move down and I'm going to paste in the same code except I'm just going to change move item up to move item down. So this command button 4 will call this move item down subroutine. So up here for move item up, we'll take a look at this. I have four variables declared here in the beginning string worksheet name is string, current list index as long, string row source as string, and string address as string. Moving down the subroutine, we start with if listbox one dot list index is less than one, then exit subroutine. So we're checking here to make sure that the value of the list index is one or greater. If it's not, we can't move the item up. So it's going to exit the subroutine. So the user can keep clicking that move up button at that point and it won't do anything. For example, if they're on the top item, if they select the top item and then click move up, it's just going to exit the subroutine. Then moving down the code, we set the current list index to equal listbox one dot list index plus one. String row source, listbox one dot row source string address, range, string, row source, dot, address. String worksheet name will equal the range, string, row source, dot, parent, dot, name. And then the row source for list box one is set to nothing. That's VB null string. Then we have range, string, row source, dot, rows, current list index, dot, cut. And then we start off this next line of code in a similar way, except it's current list index minus one dot insert shift 
colon equals sign Excel down. And then sheets, string worksheet name dot range, string address dot name equals string row source. List box one row source is then set to string row source. And list box one dot selected current list index minus two is set to true. So I'll quickly compare this to the subroutine for move item down. Fairly similar, or there are three differences here. So the first difference is with this first if then exit sub statement. Again, for move item up, it's list box one dot list index is less than one. For move item down, it's list index is less than zero or list index is equal to list count minus one. So if this condition is met or this condition, it's gonna exit the subroutine. The next five lines of code here, this block, are identical. And then looking at the next three lines where we have this range string row source, the only difference here is instead of the current list index minus one, as we see up here, in that second line of code in this next block, it's current list index plus two. Everything else is the same here. And of course, for these first five lines of code. Then for the last change, we have on move item up for list box dot selected is current list index minus two equals true. And for move item down, it's just current list index. So just three differences between these two subroutines. So I'll move out to the worksheet. I'm going to move over to this storage worksheet and take note of this range. So specifically, look here, I'm going to move this behavioral science area of study with the 14 students. I'm going to move this on the user form. So note right now it's in row five. It's the fifth item in this range. And of course it is here as well. I'm gonna move it up so it's the second item. So career counseling, behavioral science. I'll close this, move back to that worksheet. And we can see not only was it moved on the list box, the actual range has been changed. So now behavioral science is the second item, just as it was when I closed that user form. So that's the move item up and move item down, of course, works the same way. I'll select case management and I'll move this all the way to the last record. And notice after it's already in that last position, I continue to click move down and nothing happens. It's exiting that subroutine. I'll close that. Back over your storage. Case management is now the last record. I hope you found this video on reordering items in a list box to be helpful. Thanks for watching.